Assalam o Alaikum. This is me, Dr. Saifullah, and I welcome you to this video. In this video, I am going to talk about the bonds valuation. In an earlier video, I have explained about the bond, and the link of that video is shown in the upper right corner of your screen, as well as placed in the description of this video. A bond is a fixed income security that represents a loan. made by an investor to a borrower a typical bond has a specified interest rate and a yield to maturity so let's start the valuation of bond in microsoft excel let's assume that we have a bond that has a maturity of 10 years and the coupon rate is 10% and the par value of the bond that is the face value of the bond is 1000 and yield to maturity is 8% with the coupon rate and par value we can find the coupon amount coupon payments that is equal to coupon rate into par value of the bond so 100 will be the coupon payments that will be made for 10 years and after 10 years the bond will be matured and 1000 amount will be returned to the bond holders so we need to calculate the present value or the price of the bond to calculate the present value or the price of the bond we will use present value function and the present value is equal to present value pv into rate that is the yield to maturity nper number of payment periods that is 10 pmt is the payments that is the coupon payments fv is the future value that we will receive at the maturity and type is whether the payments are made at the start or at the end of the periods so equal to pv start rate that is 8% nper number of payment period that is 10 and payment is 100 and the future value is 1000 and zero if the payments are received at the end of the period and one if the payments are received at the beginning of the period so we will select zero and close the parenthesis and press enter so the price of bond is calculated that is 1134 it means you can buy this bond by paying 1134 and the bond will pay 100 coupon payment every year for 10 years and after 10 years you will receive 1000 that is the face value of the bond the present value is shown in the negative form we can convert this value into positive form as equal to minus pv again rate comma npr number of payment periods payment 100 future value is 1000 and close the parenthesis if we ignore the type then the microsoft excel automatically consider that the payment are received at the end of the period so press enter and the present value will be 1134.20 we can also use different microsoft excel functions to compute the maturity coupon payments and par value and yield to maturity to compute the maturity we will use nper function of microsoft excel and nper function of the excel is equal to nper into rate that is yield to maturity pmt is a payments pv is a present value fv is a future value and type either payments are received at the start or end of the period so equal to nper start the parenthesis rate that is 8% payment that is 100 comma present value 1134 we will select the present value that is in minus form that is in negative form comma face value or the future value that is 1000 comma 0 and close the parenthesis enter so the nper is the 10 so it means the has 10 years remaining life next we can compute the coupon payments and to calculate coupon payments we can use pmt function and equal to pmt start the parenthesis rate that is 8% nper 10 number of payment period present value that is in minus form and future value 1000 comma 0 and close the parenthesis press enter so the payment is 100 that we will 
received if we buy this bond. We can also compute the par value or the face value of the bond that is equal to FV rate, rate that is yield to maturity, NPER number of payment periods, PMT is the payments, PV present value that is in negative form and type is zero as the payments are received as the payments are received at the end of the period. Lastly, we can also calculate the rate or yield to maturity on the bond and to calculate yield to maturity, we will use rate function and to use rate function, we will press equal to rate start the parenthesis NPER number of payment periods comma payments is 100 comma present value that is in minus form comma future value that is 1000 comma zero and guess Microsoft Excel required the users to provide the guess value we can ignore this or we can also provide any values as an guess Microsoft Excel will search yield to maturity near to that value let's assume that we will enter simply five percent five percent zero point zero five and close the parenthesis and press enter but the microsoft excel return that the yield to maturity is eight percent let's do some experiments with this value and press double click and remove the guess value as and simply after zero close the parenthesis and press enter and again the rate will be same that is eight percent so guess is not mandatory requirement we can provide this if we have multiple in yield to maturity values but if we have a single yield to maturity value we we can ignore this value that's all for the bonds valuations if you have any question related to finance or financial modeling you can contact us we will try our best to provide you best answers. Thank you. Take care. Allah Hafiz.